Hey guys, quick update video today. Just wanted to catch up with you quickly on what's been going on lately and a little bit about this channel's content, specifically the composer part, and also a little bit about my PhD work and how my academic work looks like and will look like um, in the near future, because that also has direct impact on what I can do outside of that. And that uh, relates to this channel and to any other side projects I decide to work on. So first of all, the audio issue. A lot of you brought up the audio issue on my latest video that I posted three weeks ago, uh, and I think I found the problem. I won't go into detail what exactly was wrong because it can get pretty technical really quickly, but ever since uh, you kindly let me know what I could possibly do to fix that and to prevent it from happening in the future. Um, I was experimenting with my audio setup um, for a couple of days and um, I think I found a good setup that should work and make my future videos more consistent in terms of audio and hopefully that won't ever happen again. So thank you for mentioning Audacity. I'm using this now to record my audio. So for example, as you can see here right now as I'm talking, I'm using Audacity and my external microphone plugged into my computer to record an audio file separate from the video. And the OBS is taking care of the video part. There is still audio uh, being recorded through OBS as well, but this is mostly just for backup and for syncing. But later in post-processing, when I'll be doing my edits in Final Cut Pro, because this is what I'm using for my videos, I'll be just uh, using that external audio file from Audacity uh, and make my the only audio source and the other one from OBS will be muted or deleted completely. Um, I've tried it already a few times with short clips and works, and this video was recorded exactly the same way, so hopefully this sounds nice. Also what I did to make my work a little easier is that in Audacity I made um, a preset uh, chain that I can apply later to the audio file. So I'll, I'll just go to, say, Tools, uh, apply macro and then I have this like view yet blue yeti voice chain preset well right now it's grayed out because the audio is going uh, like the recording is going but later it works really nicely and then when I import the video into Final Cut Pro it's all um, like the audio levels are actually quite nice I took care of the compression I took care of the number of settings that should make the audio uh, sound much better now as for the composter project it's still on my radar I'm still going to work on this but truthfully, I have not done much for this project over the summer. It was kind of really hectic and busy, and we had a lot of visitors uh, coming from overseas. And this room, which is my office, and it doubles as the guest room, and I was pretty much locked out of my normal working space all summer. So I couldn't do much uh, besides just, you know, going to work and work on my research stuff and everything else was put on hold. And then when September came, I had to, uh, you know, get back into the routine and uh, see how things are going, what my schedule is going to look like for the upcoming semester. And then I was thinking, okay, I'll try to carve out a couple of hours every week to work on that. Um, but then I got sick. Like after I posted uh, the last video, I got quite sick for a number of weeks and uh, I finally started feeling better. And so hopefully, fingers crossed that starting from next week, nothing expected will happen and I can get back into a normal working routine and uh, find a good time slot for that. Um, for working on the project and uh, on the YouTube um, content uh, because, you know, I, I can't seem to get into a good posting schedule uh, no matter how hard I try because there's so many other things going on in my life that it's just really tricky to, uh, you know, stay consistent. Now for the PhD side of things. Remember I was talking in the last few videos about uh, me writing my first scientific paper? Well, the good news, it finally has been published. It's been published close to the end of July, uh, which I'm super happy about. I was working on this thing f since the September of last year and it's finally out there. And this was kind of like a tough journal to publish in. And so I'm even more grateful that it worked out. Uh, was publishing. And to make this milestone even more, I guess, memorable, I took a challenge and uh, took part in the competition for the cover art for the, like, that journal edition where my, pap uh, where my paper will be published. And um, 
guess what? I got it. I submitted my artwork um, based on my experimental data, actually. Um, well, this is what you see on that white word there. The publisher was really nice to send uh, me a free copy of uh, a poster uh, made from that journal cover art. And it actually didn't take me that much time to design this cover art. And I'm pretty sure that making thumbnails over the years for my YouTube videos really helped. Um, I spent about an hour getting this together. Uh, and this was not AI generated, this is real data with some post-processing in Canva. And I'm sorry if this comes off as bragging. It's probably a little thing and not very significant in the grand scheme of things. It's just, uh, you know, I started my academic journey later in life and little achievements like that uh, are really um, big motivators for me. And then since that paper was published um, at the end of July, and so then a part of the July, August and a bit of September, I was mostly studying um, the theory behind magnetic spin glasses and Monte Carlo simulations. Um, planning what experiments to run next. That was up until the point where I got sick not so long ago. And this part was really necessary. Uh, and I can't really say that I'm, I've am i learned all that I need to know. Like, this is not never go gonna happen. But at least I know that at this point I have sufficient knowledge and understanding um, of the theory uh, that will help me uh, to get the project going. You know, the toughest is always to start. Uh, once you start, you know, you start gaining momentum and, 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 and this is very important. And this is exactly what I was lacking lately, just because I got sick and I lost momentum on everything, not just on my research uh, work, but also on the YouTube side. And then the next step that I'm really excited about is that I can finally start writing code. Um, I've already started a couple of weeks ago, but then I had this forced break and I'm picking up on this again, and it will probably take me about two to three weeks to finish uh, the basic version of that code base that I want to develop. And this time I'm taking it a step further and moving away from a single file script uh, to something that looks more like a package. Um, well, here's a little screenshot of how my uh, folder tree looks like at the moment for this coding project. Um, some of the files are still empty. Some of the files have been um, filled with, you know, some code. Um, but that's like, but this is kind of the whole, yeah. But once this stuff is going and is working correctly, then I finally will be able to run full experiments, well, numerical experiments, collect data, analyze it. You know, this is what my research work looks like as a computational physicist. And uh, this part takes priority at the moment. I really need to focus in the next couple of weeks on that so that I have my tools for work ready. And then I can pick up on the composer project again. Also on top of that, I'm doing uh, a TA work again this semester. I'm teaching a first year physics lab and uh, do tutorials for one of the physics classes. So that's also taking up at least one day a week from my schedule altogether between teaching, research, side projects like YouTube and Composer and uh, just, you know, taking care of my family and house. It's definitely a balancing act to find time for anything that's not strictly required, but just more like a creative outlet, um, things that I learn uh, and do for, for the fun of it. And I hope to be able to keep doing that. For now, hopefully things settle down a little bit and I have some sort of steady routine going on and then we can do more fun things on this channel. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for subscribing, for commenting. I really appreciate all your comments and tips that you give in the comments that really helps me to make things better and also learn from you as well. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.